Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I will show you how you can upload files to your Firebase storage. So I will show you this with an example of choosing an image from your gallery. And if you chose that one, it will display in the image view. If you click on upload image, then it will upload to your storage, successfully uploaded image. If we go into our storage and reload the page, then you can see here is our image that I just uploaded from my app. And I already assume that you set up your Firebase correctly. So that means that you connected your Firebase storage in your Firebase Assistant to your Android Studio project. So if you open that tab up, that you connected it to your app and also that you added the Firebase storage dependencies to your build at Gradle file. So on the one hand that you have this Firebase storage dependency and really make sure to have that KTX extension here that is important. Otherwise you will have an error in this video and include those coroutine dependencies for Firebase and coroutines in general. If you've done that, jump into main activity and let's go. You can either set up your own layout or simply get my layout file from the GitHub repository in this video's description. So first of all, we want to be able to choose an image when we click on that image view. So that will be IV image, I called it like that, dot set on click listener. In here, we want to create an intent with the action intent dot action get content dot also we set the type of that intent to image slash asterisk so we only filter for images and then we can simply use that intent to start an activity for result pass it here i will create a constant variable request code image pick that i will create up here private const val request code image pick and set it to zero. So I will go a little bit faster through this, I know, but this is not the focus of this video. If you don't know how to choose an image from your gallery, then I recommend to, to watch my video about that first in my Android Fundamentals series. Then we can override on activity result here, make an if check and check if our result code is equal to result okay and also check if the request code is equal to our request code image pick. Then we can go into that if condition and check if our result data, so our result intent is not equal to null. So the data of that data is actually the image that we chose. You can see that is an URI and we need to check if that is not equal to null. So I will open a lab block here and here I want to create a global variable for the current selected file. So that will be a nullable URI. So var current file is a URI that is nullable and I'll set it to null initially and import URI. And in our on activity result function, we want to set that current file to it. So to the URI of the image that was chosen from the gallery. And then we want to set the image of our IV image to that URI. Oops, not that one, to it, of course. So quick little recap here. When we click on our image view, then we create an intent with the get content action. So we open up our gallery, we only show images. And when we get the result of that, so we get the actual selected image of that gallery, we set our current file URI to that URI that was selected. So the URI of that image that was selected. And we also display that image in our image view. The next thing we want to do is to write a function to actually upload that image to our Firebase storage. So let's do that right here. That will be a private function, upload image to storage. And that will take Actually, we don't need the URI that is global, uh, but it will take the file name of that image. So how we want to name this image in our Firebase storage, that will be a string. And here we want to launch a coroutine in the IO dispatcher because we will have a suspendable operation here. So inside of this upload image to storage function, we want to open a try and catch block. So in case something goes wrong when uploading our image, we want to catch the exception. So catch E is an exception. In that case, we simply want to display a toast with the error message. 
for that we have to switch the routing context because we cannot display toasts in the IO dispatcher. So with context we switch to the main dispatcher and in here we can display our toast. So toast.make text. This admin activity we, we want to print e.message and make it a long toast, toast.length long, call it show afterwards, and that's it for our catch block then we can go into the try block and actually upload our image here. And for that, what we need to do before that is to actually create a reference to our Firebase storage. And we better do this globally so we can access that reference from multiple functions. And we need that reference that just points to a specific path in our Firebase storage. So Firebase actually knows where we want to save that image that we upload here. Let's create that reference that will be my image reference and I'll set it equal to firebase.storage.reference and if you get an error here that it doesn't know storage then you really have to make sure that you have the KTX dependency and not the normal Firebase storage dependency and actually that's it. We just want to refer to the reference of our Firebase storage. Then we can scroll down again to our try block and here we now want to check if our current file is not equal to null because otherwise we don't want to upload that of course. So we check if current file is not equal to null, make that lab block here. And inside of this lab block we can now actually upload that file because now we know it is not equal to null. Let's call our image reference here dot child. So inside of this child function we can now specify a path where we want to save that image and I want to have an images folder just for organization and after that we simply want to pass the file name we pass to this function. And as you can see that child function also returns a storage reference again. So just as this reference up here. So that means we can just call dot put file afterwards to actually upload our file to that path. And inside of this put file function we have to put our URI. So we simply pass it here and call that await afterwards because we're inside of a coroutine. And if everything went well, then we can simply copy that with context block and paste it afterwards and show a toast instead with instead of with the error message. We just want to display successfully uploaded image. Then we can scroll up and add an on click listener to our button. That is button upload image dot set on click listener and simply call our function upload image to storage. With the file name, I will just choose my image. And that is everything for our code. What we need to do is we also need to set up Firebase storage in our Firebase console. So if you haven't done that yet, then just follow my instructions here. You should go to your Firebase console, make sure to be in the storage tab here, and click on get started. Then this dialog will open up here. We simply click on next. Then we have to choose a storage location. I will choose Europe rest here. Just choose something that is close to you. Click on done afterwards and Firebase will create your storage. If this is finished for you, then it should look like this. What we also want to do here is to create an images folder. So click on this create folder button and name your folder images, click on add folder. There we go. And inside of this folder, our image will be uploaded from our app. And also only authenticated users are allowed to upload files to Firebase storage by default. And because we don't have an authentication functionality implemented in our app yet, we can't upload images yet. To actually change that, we need to go to the rules tab here and change that rule that only authenticated users can upload images here. So you can see we can only write if the auth object is not equal to null. If we don't want this, then we can simply replace this with if true. That will allow everybody who has your storage reference to upload files to your storage. So if we now go into Android Studio and run our app, see if everything is working. Take a look back in our Firebase storage, go to files and in our images folder, open up the emulator 
I will click on this image view, select an image here, and then click on upload image. And you can see, wait a little moment, successfully uploaded image. And if we now reload the page here, we should see our image. There you can see, there is my image. If I click on that, there we get a little preview and some more information about that image. So I hope this video helped you to understand how to upload files to Firebase Storage. So as I said, you don't have to do this with images. You can also upload videos or basically any file you have on your device. If it helped you, then please let me know in the comments. And also if you have any questions, then really don't mind asking them below. And also if there's anything I can improve on, please let me know that too. That would be really helpful for me. Have a good day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.